Welcome back to Guru Beauty. I am Jodi and it is time for an empties video. These are the products that I finished up recently and my thoughts on them, whether I'd intend to buy them or not again, as well as whether I would recommend to you or not having gone through the whole thing. So um, this doesn't seem like a lot of products that I have finished up over the, considering it's been what, months since my last empties video, but this is what I have managed to collect during my move and my overseas travel, all of the stuff that's happened over the last few months. Also excuse the hair and the sweat. I tell ya, this Sydney humidity is absolutely no joke. I am sweating up a storm. It is not a camera friendly thing to do, but if you can get past that, definitely keep on watching to see what products I have finished up over the last few months. Okay, so first of all, as always, I do like to start with the teeth whitening. I have finished up a Colgate Optic White Sparkling Fresh Mint Teeth Whitening Mouthwash. Um, great for maintaining white teeth if you're you know making any effort to keep white teeth whether it's using whitening toothpaste um, treatments at the dentist white strips anything like that the whitening mouthwash is a great way to go as well as helping you have lovely fresh breath moving into skincare this one I was sent from Mecca Cosmetica it's from origins and it's their modern friction cleansing oil with radiance boosting white and purple rice. I love to do the double cleanse when I take everything off at the end of the day. Double cleansing for me means using oil first to get everything off, emulsifying that with water and then following up with a cleanser before I go into my nighttime skincare. This was a really nice one. It had a really cool little packaging look. It almost looked like it was dual layer, like a purpley kind of color oil and then a yellow kind of oil. I would always shake it up before dispensing into my hand. I will say that the packaging for me leaves something to be desired. It's fine, I would dispense some, just tip the bottle and dispense some into my hand, but I prefer a pump when it comes to cleansing oil for that's my favorite packaging for cleansing oils, but this one actually did a nice job. For me, not all cleansing oils are the same. Some of them are really quite gluggy and thick once you start rubbing it in to remove makeup. Some of them don't wash off cleanly. This one takes slightly more effort, I would say, to wash off, but it doesn't go thick and gluggy. I quite like it. So the Origins Modern Friction, yep, that's a decent cleansing oil, I would say. I have been working with Obagi Skincare for, gosh, probably close to the last six months and I've finished off numerous uh, bottles of their, particularly their New Derm range. I know that Obagi skincare fans are very avid fans and uh, I've really enjoyed using Obagi. First of all, their Obagi Professional C Serum, 20%. They make three different strengths of their vitamin C. The 20% is the strongest. This one you use after cleansing or toning, superior antioxidant protection with deep penetration suitable for all skin types just a few drops of that rub it in I find that it sits nicely under makeup it's a nice way to incorporate beautiful a nice car alarm I finished up an Exvoderm Fort and this is from their new Derm, new Derm range. It is for morning use and it's their exfoliation enhancer. So this they call an exfoliating lotion containing alpha hydroxy acids in a unique base to smooth and tone rough or damaged skin. So after you've put in the vitamin C serum, I use the Exvoderm Fort. They have one for normal skin, one for oilier skin, the Exvoderm and then the Exvoderm Fort. This one I find sits nicely under makeup and does a great job in terms of what you want out of your AHAs obviously smoothing and um, radiance enhancing as well. The third product from Obagi that I have finished up recently is their Obagi Medical Hydrate Luxe Moisture Rich Cream. This is an ultra moisturizing luxurious face cream formulated to deliver deep hydration and promote skin radiance. This one I have used in the evening only and I've quite enjoyed that one and uh, did get the um, Fraxel laser treatment and found that this was a really nice sort of soothing, nourishing cream to be using um, while I was recovering from that Fraxel last year. Uh, finished up a little eye cream. This is from Bobbi Brown. I've been taking this one traveling with me. It's the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. Enriched mineral water and aloe vera is what it contains. Despite the fact that this is the hydrating eye cream, I actually prefer their, um, what's it called? The Extra Repair Eye Cream. I don't find it particularly hydrating for my under eye it's a nice decent everyday eye cream though I think that most people with you know normal normal needs in their under eye area or around their eye will enjoy this one it's a decent kind of everyday 
staple. I prefer something a little bit richer though. So I probably would not repurchase that one again. Have finished a deodorant. This one's from Dove. I think I was sent this one from Dove. This is their quarter moisturizing cream, 48 hour plus vitamin E antiperspirant deodorant deodorant 0% alcohol I found this quite a nice one it is a spray on though I think I prefer a roll on just because they're a little more compact easier to travel with and you're not sort of risking um, breathing in the the fumes I felt like it worked at least it did the job I probably would be buying a roll on though if I was to buy my next deodorant oh this is a, a lovely product from Dermalogica this is their daily superfoliant this is like their microfoliant their daily microfoliant on steroids part of their age smart range uh, it's for resurfacing and it's an anti-pollution powder exfoliant highly active resurfacer that delivers your smoothest skin ever they say and helps fight the biochemical and environment mental triggers known to accelerate skin aging it's an advanced powder formula you actually um, mix a few drops of water in with it it's a dark gray powder it activates upon contact with water releasing powerful enzymes it's a skin smoothing alpha hydroxy acid and a new anti-pollution technology in there activated binkatan charcoal purifies the skin helping to absorb Oh, there's a typo, adsorb. Uh, environmental toxins from deep within the pores, while niacinamide, which is a great ingredient for me, anti-aging, red algae and tara fruit extract help guard against the damaging effects of pollution. I quite liked this one. I really like the daily microfoliant as a great staple in the shower every morning to get all the nighttime skincare and oils and stuff off. This one is, I think it's appropriate for maybe oilier skins and also perhaps older skins. I didn't particularly like the scent of the daily superfoliant. I just, it, um, yeah, I don't know. It smells maybe a little bit more like ammonia, an ammonia type smell. So I didn't enjoy the fragrance of that. But if you like giving yourself a daily exfoliant that has that kind of grainy feel, I think you'll really like this one. It does a great job in terms of smoothing your skin. I think I actually have repurchased this one. I was sent, I think, the full size from Dermalogica. I have bought travel sizes since to travel with it. So, you know, that's a, 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 that's a vote of confidence, I guess. Also, I finished up this hairspray. It's from L'Oreal. It's their Infinium, the infinitely preferred professional hairspray with extreme hold. I think when I was working with Morris Mead last year, they used this hairspray on me. I think I, I really liked the way it just kind of, that I liked the hold. And I felt like when my hair was particularly blonde, it just kind of looks, looked lustrous with this hairspray. So I'm not sure if that's what it actually does, but I finished up the bottle. It is a nice hairspray. I definitely would consider buying it again. Nice hold, nice sort of grit without being, you know, too lacquerish. So um, yeah, like that one, that is quite nice. I finished up a candle from a brand called Wilds. This one was sent to me by the PR company and uh, this candle is in the scent Oriental Woods. Oh, it's just a lovely florally woody kind of scent which is right up my alley. I love woody scents, I love floral scents and this was a beautiful combination. I do really like this and I would absolutely recommend. Finished up a few uh, perfume samples. This one from Estee Lauder Modern Muse. Nothing to write home about for me. Not, not a particular favourite that would make me go out and buy the, the whole thing. Uh, this one on the other hand, Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. I definitely have bought the full size of this perfume. I do really like it. It's just a lovely sort of um, bit more of a sophisticated spicy floral. Um, finished up Oh Lola from Marc Jacobs. I don't know why that one for me mm, was fine in the sample size but wouldn't get the, the full size. And then from Chanel, the best selling Eau de Parfum, the scent Chance. Chance for me is, um, I think it's a very, very popular scent. I don't know, it doesn't quite hit, hit the mark for me. It's not one that I would buy in the full size. One more fragrance that I have finished up that I absolutely loved. This one I got from Mecca Cosmetica in Claremont in WA. It's from Serge Luton and it is the Fleur d'Oranger. I don't know how you say it. That's my attempt at saying it in French, but basically it's their orange flower scent. It's beautiful. It's um. Orange flower, jasmine -y. you definitely get that sort of jasmine -y scent in there. I definitely got compliments on this. A great everyday floral, if you like orange flower, beautiful. And it is sort of long lasting, so you'll people will still be, you know, smelling a lovely fresh floral scent throughout the day on you. Back to skincare, um, there we go. There's a travel size of the Daily Superfoliant from Dermalogica. Bought that one for my trip to America. You've heard what I have to say about that. Great everyday exfoliant. And then final product here is a Daily SPF Moisturizer. It is from MAC. I'm not a huge 
well, I don't know a whole lot. I don't have a huge lot of experience with MAC skincare, but this one is a real favorite of mine. I've purchased and repurchased this one. It's the MAC Lightful C Marine Bright Formula SPF 30 Moisturizer. Uh, comes in a really nice 50 ml size bottle with a handy dandy lockable pump. So perfect for travel. It dispenses a really I'll just wait for that siren. Comes in a 50 ml bottle with a lockable pump, so perfect for travel, nice and lightweight, dispenses a tiny little amount at a time, so you can really customize exactly how much you dispense onto your fingers. I think it gives my skin just a lovely uh, look. It sits nicely under makeup. And uh, yeah, I've bought this, um, I think, three times now. So the Lightful Seam Marine Bright Formula SPF 30 Moisturizer, definitely thumbs up. I would recommend and I have and would repurchase. I really like that among a couple of other daily moisturizers with SPF. That is it for me, all of my empties that I've managed to collect over the last few months. I hope that you enjoyed. Please let me know what products you have finished up over the last few months. I'd love to hear from you as well as what your thoughts were on the product. Thank you so much for watching. Plenty more videos to come from me, so stay tuned. Make it a gorgeous day and don't forget, you are absolutely beautiful, but you know what? So much more important than looking it is actually being it. I will see you again really, really soon. Mwah! Bye. You're seeing me in the road.